What's up, y'all? Gonna try something new. I'm gonna split up the news post from the vlog, so the vlogs will be standalone. This is just gonna be a news post. Tell me what you think about separating the two in the comments. These typically don't get as many views, which is why I would just combine it all into the one thing. But, you know prefer this. Anyway, some news happened. As most of you already know, this is old news from four days ago. October's Community Day will be October 21st and will be Beldum. And as always, go to PokemonGoLive.com, go to the events section, check your time for Community Day. The website will reflect your region's time. And those shiny sprites look amazing. It's probably one of the best looking shinies so far. So here's the crazy additional thing. During EV Community Day, it was really nice to have that extra day to appraise everything. And we had an extra day after that where we still got Last Resort. That got us all thinking during Chikorita Day, like, man, we wish we had an extra day or a little bit of a grace period and I think Niantic picked up on that as well because here it lists at the third feature Evolve Matang up to one hour after the event to obtain Metagross that know a special move bonus That doesn't feel like they grammared good right there But that's huge up to one hour after the event because it really does feel like once the event starts to wind up That you're missing out on all those potential shinies because you're appraising everything and you're, you're doing evolutions as fast as possible Having that one hour is gonna be great. It really does bring the community together like in the park where I do community day most people sit down at the Parthenon to do all their evolutions so when the events over for everybody just to migrate over there and we'll all be sitting together and we'll all be doing evolution sure we'll be looking at our phones but there's community what? Other than that, you have your bonuses. We have eggs hatch four times faster for the duration of the event. Lures last three hours, but that's cool. If you haven't seen this already, I don't know. They gave that new Pokemon a name. I'm still gonna call it Nut Boy because that's what I wanna call it. But according to this post, which seems weirdly phrased because it seems to be doing the opposite for me, Ditto all over the world have been transforming into this Pokemon which has now been identified as the mythical Pokemon Meltan. So I haven't caught a regular Pokemon that transforms into Ditto that would then transform into Meltan. Right now I've only seen Meltan and he would evolve into Ditto. I haven't thoroughly checked Reddit or Twitter right now, so I have no idea. It could be like a bunch of people like, oh, I got him already. But if you had a Ditto transform into Meltan, let me know in the comments below. Also, this has kind of sparked a strange team up between Professor Willow and Professor Oak, which resulted in a very odd video where a very modern adventurer, Professor Willow, is having a video chat with Professor Oak, but Professor Oak kind of looks like he's in a different video game. It's almost like they're just doing a product tie-in for Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, and they didn't bother to make an updated model of Professor Oak. They'll kind of fit in graphics it's almost like they're two different games. So here's something exciting on October 1st, along with getting Suicune as our seven day breakthrough for field research and brand new field research featuring water type Pokemon, Reversal has been given the scoop directly from Niantic about what the new shinies are gonna be. So starting October 1st, pretty shiny Krabby and Kingler. He also mentioned a brand new spin to form. So far we got form three and eight. So that's gonna be awesome. Also, we've got new things in the style shop. Normally I'd be pretty begrudging of this, but uh, they have a hat that I have in real life and I want this hat very badly. This is how you get us to spend coin, Niantic, by the way. If you're not gonna expand item storage or Pokemon storage, where I would spend unlimited coins for that, you, you could just make it unlimited and I would keep spending coins. That'd be a great way to make money, I'm just saying. But if you're not gonna do that, then put something in the style shop that I own in real life and I will buy it. Ugh. It's not a snapback, but it's close enough. So along with, you know, Mystic and, and Valor, I'm not buying those hats. I'm just showing them to you. I'm sullying my avatar for you guys. There's also hats for the three starters. Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. And if you're wondering where it's Pikachu, you can just wear the ears. Wear the ears, guys. <laughs> So those are the new things in the style shop. And of course there was the recent EX Raid Pass mess that happened. On Friday, several people were issued EX Raid Passes that were scheduled for that very day. Like super last minute and they would just run to that location. And when they go to those gyms expecting Deoxys, they were getting regular Raid Bosses. So Niantic issued this response. Hi trainers, if you received an EX Raid Pass at a gym that currently has an active Raid, the time of your EX Raid will update once that Raid ends. The next EX Raid will take place on either October 1st or 2nd, thanks for your patience. But here's the a lot of those raids were not supposed to be issued so people were getting a lot of cancellation notifications and we kind of brushed it off at the time thinking oh this is just showing that Deoxys isn't ready but it turns out a lot of the people that received an EX raid passed earlier than Friday those things are still on so Deoxys is still happening either October 1st or 2nd I'm still trying to get invited to one on a Deoxys guys but for those who did get an EX raid pass here's what you need to know perfect CP would be 1570 
1963 if it is weather boosted. Your best counters are going to be Mewtwo with Cycle Caught Shadow Ball, Gengar with Shadow Claw Shadow Ball, Bayonet with Shadow Claw Shadow Ball. There's kind of a theme here. Absol with Snarl Dark Pulse, Houndoom with Snarl Foul Play, and Tyranitar with Bike Crunch. And thanks to GoHub writer and artist Josh Provines for this graphic that I just read off of. And finally, this morning Niantic tweeted this out. Good news trainers, you now have extra time to hatch Farfetch'd Kangaskhan, Mr. Mime, and Tauros in 7 kilometer eggs. These Pokemon are available through October 8th, so we have a little bit of extension on that. I was beginning to wonder because I stopped seeing them in 7Ks and I've been hatching those pretty consistently. And then I got a Farfetch'd this morning, so anyway. And of course, as I'm making the thumbnail for this video, this pops up. Please join us for the Pokemon Go Safari Zone event in Tainan, Taiwan. Trainers, a Pokemon Go Safari Zone event in Tainan, Taiwan is taking place from Thursday, November 1st to Monday, November 5th at the Tainan Metropolitan Park and the Chime Museum. Dubbed Taiwan's oldest city, Tainan is famous for its long history and rich culture. The city boasts many historic buildings, heritage sites, and temples, as well as abundance of local festivals, culinary delicacies, and gourmet snacks like pineapple cake. I like pineapple cake. Plus, throughout the city of Tainan, trainers will be able to find Pokemon not normally seen in Taiwan, such as the water and rock type Pokemon Relicanth. I, I can't go to Taiwan, guys. I want to. The psychic type Pokemon unknown and more. If you're lucky, you might even encounter shiny pincer. What? Shiny pincer. This is a free event to be enjoyed by all trainers, so make plans early to ensure you obtain transportation accommodation for the event. So in the picture you see Anorith, Relicanth, Bagon, Swablu, an unknown letter T, and pincer. I'm assuming all the letters are gonna spell it. Tainan, maybe. It's showing a T. That was just announced, like just freaking now, and now I gotta re-edit this video. And that's the news post for today. I will be posting that vlog shortly after, I think. I'll just have to record the intro and outro for that video, where I will be wearing this very same shirt. As always, if you like the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more news posts and vlogs and other content. Hit that notification bell, become part of the notification squad. Become the first person to know when a video drops or if I go live. As always, up-to-date random shenanigans, posts about my fandom of BTS and other, <laughs> other such Pokemon-related goodness. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description below. And stay tuned for the Chikorita Community Day vlog. Following this, probably. Peace.